That was Leo Stallworth reporting. A reminder, you can get the latest news anytime with the ABC7 News app with enhanced live video features, more customization, and personalized push alerts to get more of the news you want delivered to your phone in real time. Back to that. It's, been, it's become less about enjoying nature and just who can get the best selfie to put on their social well, media. It's digital currency. Nobody remembers your selfie a week from now. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Good point. All right, that's going to do it for ABC 7 News at 4. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ama Dates. I'm Larry Beal. ABC 7 News at 5 starts now. A pedestrian is killed on a deadly stretch of road in Santa Rosa. It's not the first time, and it looks very much like it won't be the last. New fallout from the college admission scandal, the claims from a Bay Area teenager that one coach now says are pure fiction. ABC 7 News goes inside to talk exclusively with the owner of the Flintstone House, which he says about the trouble that has nothing to do with Fred, Wilma, Pebbles, or Dino. Also ahead, the soldier who surprised his son and left everyone in tears. And the whales in the bay spotted moments ago by Sky 7. Live where you live, this is ABC 7 News. Good evening, I'm Dan Ashley. And I'm Kristen Z. Let's begin with yet another deadly crash on a major thoroughfare in Santa Rosa. Yeah, we're talking about a Stony Point Road, the crash this time at Hearn Avenue. ABC 7 News reporter Wayne Friedman joins us live from Santa Rosa with the latest tragedy on that busy stretch. Wayne? The stretch is normally very busy. At this moment, however, you might notice there's not a car in sight, and there's a reason. Over my shoulder, you see the Santa Rosa Police Department. They are about to fly a drone over this intersection to take a look at the specifics of what might be problems on Stony Point Road. On Stony